you may have noticed that there's some changes to Google Sheets. No longer is there an add-ons menu. That is out. Now it's the extensions menu, and there's a few other changes. So let's take a look at Google Sheets and some of the new menu changes. We're gonna have to get used to navigating a little differently, but now it's organized a little bit smarter. So if you look on here, you'll notice that you have the menu bar up here. You have the file menu, edit, insert, format, data, tools menu, and now the new extensions menu. So you're gonna choose that extensions menu and you're gonna see that it now shows add-ons, macros, and app script. Now wait a minute, wasn't macros and app script under the tools menu? Yes, yes they were. So now they have moved from the tools menu to the extensions menu. So you can see here under tools that it is completely different. They have, there is no add-ons menu. What happened to the add-ons menu? You're gonna find it right here under extensions and it says add-ons. And in order to get add-ons, you're gonna now be able to get it right up at the top. It used to be you go to the add-ons menu, would show all your add-ons and then you'd get add-ons way at the bottom. So if you wanted to get a new one, it was down there. Another big change is where's the script editor? Now I like to code Google Sheets, Google Docs, Google Slides, and that uses Google App Script. It's based on JavaScript. So if you'd like to learn a little bit of JavaScript and honestly, very little App Script, App Script is the code that you would learn to be able to code Google Sheets. Now it used to say script editor and I would be able to edit my code, my Google App Script using script editor. That is gone. Take a look at the extensions menu and under extensions menu, you see it now says app script. So this should really help you if you think you might be interested in doing any coding. What do you code in? You code in app script, Google app script, and it allows you to do a lot of really great, cool custom things. In fact, I use app script in conjunction with macros and now they're next to each other. Macros used to also be under the tools menu and I hope that you're using lots of macros. Those automate tasks in your spreadsheet, things that you do repeatedly, it's gonna do it for you. Now here's a secret, when you record a macro, it's actually recording app script. So sometimes I just like to record a macro just so I can see what it looks like in app script so I can learn a little bit of coding, you know, just for fun. If that's not your thing, you don't need to know any coding to use Google Sheets or to use macros, and they're all under the extensions menu. Look here under extensions, we have add-ons, macros, app script, and here are all of the add-ons that I have installed. Let's take a look at a couple of them that I've created. I like to code. So if you get add-ons, you'll be able to find some that I made. So if you'll go to the extensions menu, extensions, add-ons, we're gonna get add-ons, and actually you can just type in Alice Keeler, and it's gonna be able to find one of my add-ons, Alice Keeler, and you can get my add-on template tab. I have over 10 million installs. This one is really popular. This allows you to get all your students on the same one Google Sheets spreadsheet. It's gonna create a tab per student where it copies a graphic organizer. The other one I have is called Two Tabs, and I think you're gonna really love this one. So you're gonna search for, oh, let's do this again, extensions, add-ons, get add-ons, and search, there we go, two tabs, all one word. Now this is for when you are using Google Forms. When you create a Google Form and you have all your responses, sometimes you wanna separate them out into individual tabs. That's what two tabs will do for you. Those are both free and collect no user data, no PII. But those aren't all of the great add-ons that you can get for your Google Sheets spreadsheet. So go to the extensions menu and find those add-ons that help you get even more functionality. And take a look back at the tools menu because you can see that that has changed as well. There is the create a new form, spelling, autocomplete, notification rules, and now the activity dashboard is listed under there. So the tools menu looks totally different. So make sure you take some time to go through each of the menus as they all have been updated to help you to get more out of using Google Sheets.